Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of October 31st. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com. We're adding more people as usual, and if you're looking for new readers and things like that, you can find them there. But let's see what's going on for you this week of October 31st. Let's see here. Yeah, um, pretty interesting. Let's see here. I'd say definitely uh, trust your intuition this week. You start off with the uh, Six of Clubs, which is the card of the prophet and uh, trusting your own intuition and trusting, you know, yourself really this week. I would pretty much just only trust yourself is what I would say. You also have the Queen of Clubs as well, which is also a card of intuition and trusting your feelings and trusting your gut on pretty much everything you do this week. This is also a great card for learning. So for any of you that are in school or, uh, or even if you're just learning by like reading books or watching YouTube videos and things like that, it's a great week for learning. This is also a great card for success and negotiation. If you're involved in any negotiations this week, actually I would say even if you're in sales, if you have a sales job or something along those lines, could be a great week. And uh, if you're negotiating anything else, even something legal, um, could be a good week to do that. I would also say you have the Eight of Diamonds, so I'd also say it could be a good week, like maybe you're trying to negotiate debts and things like that. I know, uh, you know, with the astrology, there's a lot of stuff in the astrology that I think is also good for, you know, negotiating old debts that you might have or uh, negotiating student loans or taxes and things like that. You might want to go over that stuff this week with the Eight of Diamonds. It's just a good card to kind of uh, work with finances and all that other stuff. Plus with that six, kind of gives you a little bit of an extra negotiating bonus there. This is also a great card for those of you who are in business, uh, for uh, just earning more money, seeing contracts and things like that. And it's also a great card for anybody who has been working on something. I'd say, you know, if you've been working towards something financial, it's coming. I mean, this is a card of success on the horizon. You also have the Four of Diamonds, which is a card that says you might need to be a little bit patient. So if you've been looking for a job or something like that, you might need to be a little bit patient this week. But it is, these cards do say these things are coming in for you. Next, you have the eight of uh, the Ace of Spades. Sorry, Ace of Spades is a card of overcoming obstacles and uh, existing problems being resolved. So, a lot of you could be overcoming obstacles this week and uh, seeing problems being resolved. It's also kind of like a death card, as in transformation. Seeing a lot of transformations this week and um, seeing things transform for you. So, I think a lot of you could be actually just seeing how things are changing, and you could be thinking a lot about the past. I think as well with this card and kind of seeing how things from the past are even changing, which is very, very nice. And a lot of you could be just leaving a difficult period. You could just be noticing this week with this card. Sometimes it's kind of small, but it kind of builds as well. It's like one of those things where we just start to notice maybe how we're having some better small wins, how things are just kind of going our way a little bit more with this card. And next, again, you have the Queen of Clubs. The Queen of Clubs is all about intuition and trusting your intuition. Uh, so, again, definitely an intuitive week. Also a great week, again, to trust yourself, I think. I might have said this in your November monthlies, if I'm not mistaken. I think it might have been Gemini. I could be wrong about that, but... Um, I definitely told one of the signs, like, you know, don't even listen to me, you know, come up, come to your own conclusions this week and, uh, you know, come up with your own thoughts and ideas this week. Don't allow other people to influence you. Uh, Queen of Clubs is a card where she stands like in herself and she has her own beliefs and doesn't let anybody else, like said, influence her. So kind of uh, stand on your own this week. Don't be afraid to do that. Next, you have the Four of Diamonds. Again, uh, Patience. So things could be taking a little bit of patience this week, but this is a great card. Uh, I would say this card plus that Eight of Diamonds, great for finances and planning your finances. Uh, even, if, you know, again, even if you're retired, doesn't matter. You could be working on a lot of financial things, you know, strengthening your finances and planning those things out. I would say this week, be careful. Also, you know, just these aren't... Um, bad cards, the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Clubs. But I would say with this combination, the Eight of Diamonds, Ace of Spades, the uh, Queen of Clubs, and the Four of Diamonds, be careful of anything like weird that comes in financially. Like, you know, be careful of, you know, the, like scam phone calls and things like that. You never know that you might just, you know, I think it's just kind of like one of those combinations where somebody could call and, you know, like those uh, IRS scams are going around and, and things like that. So just be careful of anything like that. If something doesn't feel right, especially financially, 
especially this week, I would say, you know, don't do it, whatever it is. Um, you know, trust your intuition there as well. Just kind of like a little thing I'm getting uh, for that. And then finally, you have the Ace of Hearts. Great card of love opening up for a lot of you. Also a great card for messages and paying attention to uh, people around you as well and in receiving messages from family. Also, it can be kind of like a pretty intuitive card, this card, so trust your intuition. I'm also getting that, again, if you encounter some sort of weird situation, again, I, I just feel like for maybe, it, maybe it's only for a small percentage of you, but if you encounter some sort of weird situation that doesn't sound right, again, if somebody calls you and it seems like a scam or something like that, I am getting that this card could be help coming in for you of, you know, somebody telling you, you know, you see seeking help and, and, and for whatever the problem is and they could clear it up or tell you that it's a scam or something like that so again i feel like for some reason for a small percentage of you there might be this scam type energy so again be very careful you know, especially on the phone for whatever reason i'm um, getting on the phone be careful on the phone this week um with, with people calling you asking for money or, or things like that but other than that it looks like a great week love opening up as well and very good money week as well um pretty much uh just Good money week for investing as well, I'm getting too. So yeah, it looks good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.